all my dresses where it's hard to take pictures, so let's take off my jacket because it doesn't look cute when you're wearing your jacket when you're taking pictures. So I did take some pictures, nighttime pictures. I met Louie, my couch surfing hangout friend. He has really good equipment. He used to be a photojournalist, but now he's an engineer. So shout out to Louie if you're watching this. Um, great American guy from New Jersey. We hung out. So I didn't realize he had good equipment until after we hung out. So he took some pictures, but from my phone, because his camera equipment takes a long time to set up. But later at the church, he took some nighttime pictures, panoramic, that he'll let me borrow. But the one I'm in is fuzzy, because at nighttime, if you don't stay still for three minutes, it's fuzzy. And then that's how I plan my itinerary. I don't have any plans most of the time, unless it's something big then I'll be like, I want to see that. But if it's not big, then I don't really have plans. I just sort of roam around the cities, the beaches, camping, I hitchhike. So the food I really enjoyed. So that was a splurge for me just for my 44th birthday. Um, if I was with her, I'd probably eat a little bit cheaper because we'd have to pay for the room and share. So that's the story. But I know one day she's gonna um, realize and we'll become friends again. It might be one or two years, but that's okay. Some friendships need time apart. And yes, I'm very annoying to travel with. I'm a gypsy hobo. I'm maybe too flexible and too gypsy and too hobo for most people to travel with. So I've learned my lesson. Do not travel with anybody but my partner. With my boyfriend, I've traveled with before when we met each other. We did road trips and he's very easy going. We camped out at places because Australia is huge so we would just drive for the whole day and when he got tired we would just find a corner to camp out at and he'll do a fire and we'll go to sleep and wake up the next morning and keep driving driving for seven days so if someone can do that they can probably do gypsy hobo with me but someone that can't camp out will probably murder me so I have a higher chance of being murdered by a good friend traveling than I do at couch surfing or with strangers. So stay tuned for my gypsy hobo traveling stories or just and all of these things I can't capture on TV. When I'm mad I can't uh, that I missed the bus I'm not gonna be recording myself because I'm low battery, low charge and I don't have most of the time I don't have charge even to do internet. Um, and then when I'm sleeping on the bench I don't want to be filming myself because I'm cold and I don't have anyone to film me. Um, I try to take pictures when I can, um, but all these travel mishaps aren't being recorded because it's just me. So, and most of the time I might not even have charge, so I have no charge on my um, Wi Fi or a camera or a cell phone. So that's why I'm not filming most of this. So, stay. Um, Subscribe to
why I'm not filming most of this. So stay um, subscribe to. Thank you.